Hey Mo. Freckle. Freckle. Face. What's up party people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something extremely important. I've been getting a lot of questions about one thing and one thing only. My freckles. My freckles are real. They're not fake. Who has the time to draw on freckles on their face every single day? A full face. Who has the time? Nobody. I mean, if you have the time, all power to you, but not mine. These are real freckles. <coughs> Growing up with freckles, I hated my freckles. I hated them, I hated them, I hated them. My older sister would be so mean and call them poop stains. <laughs> Don't laugh. Yes poop stain. So I never really embraced my freckles. I didn't really like them growing up because of that. I could never really hide my freckles because I didn't really use makeup and I didn't know how to use makeup. I mean, to this day, I don't use makeup except for like eye makeup, but I don't put anything on my face. I don't cover my freckles. I don't try to hide my freckles. As I got older, I think it was in, you know, junior, no, I want to say college. That's when I started to really embrace my freckles because I had a lot of people who come up to me and told me that they loved my my freckles. They were just really beautiful. I never really saw what people saw in my face until, yeah, a little bit after college. And that's when I decided I wanted to do modeling. And I thought, listen, if God gave me this face, he must have given it to me for a reason. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go model. I'm about to be in magazines. Let me do this. Mm. Yeah, no, it didn't, it, that didn't happen. <laughs> so after that, I love dancing, so I decided to try to pursue dancing. I went to the dance studio every week, took a lot of dance classes. I started to work at a dance studio. It was in North Hollywood called Millennium Dance Company. And I worked there for, I don't know, like a year or something, or a year or two. I met a lot of cool people there, and I realized working in there that there are a lot of people who are hungry for to be a dancer and I wasn't that hungry. I wanted to do acting and I thought I can do both. Doing dancing, it stopped me from doing acting. So I decided that, you know, I'll stop dancing. I'll let somebody else have my spot, which wasn't a big spot. I didn't really do much dancing. So it wasn't that big of a deal to just stop. And from actually from working at the dance studio is where I was discovered by an agent who is now representing me today. So I tried the modeling thing, it didn't really work for me. And then I got into acting, which for me, the acting worked out a lot better. You know, I've booked a few things, so that helped me a lot. Fun fact, I am actually a twin. My twin does not have freckles like I do. She just has like little freckles underneath her eyes and that's about it. I mean, she might have freckles here and there around her body, but not like me. And growing up, I look at my face every day, I look at my body every day, so I don't realize how much freckles I have until I really like look in the mirror and see my freckles. When I was little, when I was a baby, my I didn't have freckles, actually. When I was born, I didn't have any freckles. And I think, I'm not sure what age I was when my freckles started to show. I have a picture where it doesn't look like I have freckles, but then again, like, I think it was the light that didn't show my freckles. Like here, this picture, you can't really tell that I have freckles, but I have freckles. And they're just really, really light. And they didn't start popping out until later on. I can't tell you how old I was when they started popping out, because I don't even know. I don't even know if my mom knows. I didn't start showing my freckles until late, so I was a late bloomer. <laughs> when I was in high school, that's when I started putting on makeup, which was just eyeliner and mascara. And I have a freckle, I don't remember which eye it is, but I have a freckle on my eyelid, and I was washing off my makeup, and I couldn't get the makeup off of one eyelid, and I was, I was sitting there like, why can't I get the makeup off my eye? I'm scrubbing, I'm scrubbing, I'm scrubbing. It's because it's a freckle. I was so embarrassed to know that it was a freckle, and I think it was the first time that I was actually trying on makeup. It was embarrassing. <laughs> and I don't know why people say that people with freckles don't get zits. Honey, I get zits, so that's fun. 
Anyways, I'm just here to rant about my freckles because I hate when I get people saying that my freckles are fake and they're not real. I have a heart on my face. Sorry to disappoint you, but these babies are real, honey. And you know what else is real? My hair. There ain't a fake thing on me. Maybe my earrings, but that's about it. If you want to see more of my freckles, go ahead and follow my Instagram. Go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. And go ahead and... What other social medias are there? If you like what you see, please give it a big thumbs up. And comment down below how many times I said freckle. Because I'm pretty sure I've said it about 100 times. <laughs> Alright guys, if you want to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.